I said it's got Patrick Stewart in, and she says, "Oh, that's that bold guy out of Star Trek, isn't it?" <laughs> I'm like, mm-hmm. Is he? <laughs> Is he in Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> Is he next man? <laughs> okay, go. Poppins gone. Statement number one. Awesome. Uh, for me, did everything, and I, I was very, very cynical. It what? Well, we knew it wasn't going to be TNG again. That would be like Red Dwarf. It'd just be terrible episodes of TNG, uh, and it wasn't. Like Discovery started off, where it was just Star Wars labelled as Star Trek, with just explosions and people fighting and people dying and and crying and things and bad stuff. It wasn't that either? It was a whole new thing. It was cinematic, without just lens flare and the camera spinning around, so you can't see what's going on. So that wasn't like the old show. Um, it, it really occurred to me that's what the TNG movie should have been like. Exactly that. So it wasn't TNG. And it was—it's never been billed as TNG. They've made that clear, isn't it? That you know that uh, Patrick Stewart wouldn't do it if it was more TNG. And he said this is not a continuation of TNG, um, but it is the continuation of these characters, and that's awesome. Just I mean, in a way, I didn't care if it was good. I just wanted to see the characters again, you know. But it was actually good. I thought it was good. Yeah, I thought it was quite promising, um, with a few caveats. Mm-hmm. It was good to see Picard again. It was good to be reminded of that type of character, that yes. sort of um, diplomatic. Um, yeah, they don't have to be an arsehole. Yeah, they actually be good people, not boring. Uh, which made it kind of relevant mm. to to today. That's that's why he's doing it. Isn't it? That's yeah. what he said. Isn't it? The story was intriguing. It almost felt Battlestar Galactica ish. Yeah. And I knew I was getting sucked in because I was like, the Borg are involved. It's got to be the Borg. Yeah. There's Borg here. There's, yeah. there's got to be Borg involved. Um, I loved, I loved the, the, uh, the zoom out. Yeah, the at the end. It didn't take long to... Oh, it is, it is, it is, it is. Yeah, yeah. there it is. Oh, my uh, God, it's massive. Yeah, the story seems quite good. Intriguing. Plenty of potential there. So you're like... You had, you, you know, you're starting to get on... into the, the realms of Blade Runner and things like that. Mm. Um plenty of scope there for big philosophical discussions and ideas based show as you say not just like flashing lights and stuff like that which is what Star Trek originally was all about you know yeah yeah, Um, it was for for however many years until probably until 2005 I'd stop watching by then it's interesting that Starfleet is being painted in a less than brilliant light if you know what I mean yeah that is quite interesting because it was always sort of very yeah, it's, it's, yeah, the whole point of Star Trek is yeah. the positive future. The, so the Federation was sort of like, Whoa, yeah. that's what we should be aiming for. Yeah. Um, is it what we're aiming for? No. <laughs> Sorry. It's and they've, changed. they've tied it in into the reboot with the supernova of the Romulan sun. Yeah, which is... Which is good. Controversial, but it was okay. Because actually Picard's not on the new timeline. Yes. Which is, you know, very... Yeah, and it does mean... It is, whatever well, you know. You can argue. People on YouTube will argue that, that people on YouTube talk nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's this is our Jean Luc Picard, and it's going to be our everyone else as well. Yeah. So yeah, plenty, plenty to go at. But the, the only thing that made me think, hang on, this could go wrong, is when he's speaking to the girl. Can't remember the, the character's name. Dodge or something. Yeah, and he says, I think there's a switch gone on in your subneural n- net or some some gobbledygook yeah which made me think hang on don't 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 do the doctor who thing midi chlorians yeah you just sort of introduce this thing to explain it <laughs> yeah the intrigue is that it's in- inexplicable which kind of held the interest for all those seasons of battle star galactica is sort of like well they never explained it yeah, yeah. it sounds like they couldn't but that wasn't no the point. Yeah. but it kept it kept the intrigue sort of thing you don't explain it off the bat Yes. Yeah. But you do know the answer. Yeah. And the answer makes sense. And they, that's, <laughs> Which is know. boring. The idea is to keep you guessing. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty intrigued. I don't know, what do you think about this drip feeding it out one episode at a time? Extremely painful. Uh, <sighs> God, it, it means, was over so quick. It means I'm not going to watch it, essentially. The, but that's, that's good. Well, you can, you can, then you can watch it all together. Yeah, but that happened. You know, they did the Star Trek on Netflix. Mm. I think I watched 
quite a few of those. And then you got to I where caught it got up. To. Yeah, I got to yeah. where it got to. And I didn't watch any more. Yeah, and it was actually a very good, good series. But I, I'm, I've got mixed feelings about it. Bits of it were excellent. Uh, it started really not the right way. That was that's a strange thing. But, yeah, people would argue. Well, encounter at far point is actually kind of terrible as well. <laughs> but is it least Star Trek? It starts off the pilot is pointless, and you can watch Discovery and just not watch the pilot because the pilot is for a different crew who will die anyway. So you know, oh no, spoilers. But this didn't feel like that at all. You know, I did th- think it was quite funny. I mean, my, you know, my thing was one was the kung fu kick in in the trailer. There's a kung fu kick. Now, Kirk had fist fights. He even <laughs> had a fist fight with God. That's all right. But that worried me. Everyone in the future now is a ninja. I know kung fu. You know, and then even Picard will be like with a with a stunt double <laughs> doing ninja moves. Oh God, Picard was an old man. He I actually mean, looked old, didn't he? Yeah, and was presented as an old man. He had, she had to help him up the stairs quick because he was too old to run up the stairs. Um, and she was fighting because she's been created by Data. So Data's going to make a good at defending herself, etc. So that makes sense. And she exploded. <laughs> One of the things I was saying about it's going to be explosions. She actually exploded. <laughs> but again, it was in the context of the story. I can see people having a problem with Introducing a character and then killing him off, but that's the start of the story. That's that's the emotional reason for, you know. The problem with that is they did it in the first episode, and there's not enough engagement there with that character. The new character. Yeah, the new character to make it hurt. If you know what I mean, I did sort of. Yeah. She was quite an appealing character, in, in you know, in her personality and stuff like that, but you hadn't spent it long enough time. With that character to actually think, flip! I wish I hadn't killed her. Or... Yeah, but it, yeah, it, it was about what what that's doing to Picard, wasn't it? I suppose mm. that's, that's yeah. You're right. So it was an interesting way to do it. It should be the end of season one or something like that. It should be the catalyst for the next season if there's going to be another season. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that that's the bit people are going to be complaining about. I I did did my social media thing um, after watching it and. Uh, the, all the complaints about it's political now but completely silent <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know why that is because it didn't make sense in the first one when when Patrick Stewart announced that this it actually has a it's like a morality tale in space <laughs> they allow a black woman on the bridge <laughs> in Star Trek um, the, the, I mean that was that was there was a loud chorus of idiots um, and terrible YouTube videos of people who have insider knowledge who know nothing. It's, I mean, it, with Doctor Who, anything like that that's in Doctor Who, well, for a start, it hasn't been in very much New Who. It was much more in the old series, so you can... There's more justification of people complaining about politics in Doctor Who. Than, but with Star Trek, you can just never, ever have seen Star Trek <laughs> <laughs> to, to justify that at all. Nonsense. Oh, well, that, it, used to, it used to show both sides. No, it didn't. Unless maybe they've watched like a, a Mirror Universe episode and they think the message was it's the mighty Terran Empire or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this makes no sense at all. I mean, I watched um, a lot of TNG kind of in November. A protective cocoon from what was going on in life. It was a great thing to hide in and familiar and all that stuff. I watched season three, four and half a five to really got a sense of that's what TNG was. And it, I did get. It did strike me how um, it's very easy to think, to be an old man and think, TV's dumb now, TV's stupid. <laughs> Even the good stuff has to have stupid action, explosions, car chases. Um, but that was Star Trek. The rest of TV wasn't like that in in the early nineties, was it? <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? It's just Star Trek is good, and they've done it now in a cinematic way, so it's good. No lens flare. No lens flare. Yeah. Yeah, overall, a bit of a thumbs up, isn't it? It's a thumbs up, definitely a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they can they can ruin it. They can. Yeah, it's only the first episode. Isn't it? Yeah, and it was so short. It's Five uh, minutes. And I hope the line is not drawn here. Basically, torture. It's just a, it's like a teaser. It's like a teaser trailer. They just <laughs> yeah, it's actually really good. But we're not going to show it. Sorry. 
Stop. The story stops. I just love the fact he calls his dog number one. Yeah, that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he just got his his uh, housekeepers looking after him in his old age, kind of thing. Romulan housekeepers. <gasps> Controversial. Well, would he have terrorists in his house? <laughs> something, something. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Mm. Lovely. Yeah. Right. Difficult if you can't complain. <laughs> Actually, but I'm not complaining because it's awesome. Yeah. God. The, the, the fear, remember, this is not spoilery because we don't know. The, 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 one of the r- lie rumours from the people making up rumours that aren't true from uh, terrible YouTube channels um, it was that uh, they're going to kill him off at the end of the season and the ship is going to be called Picard <laughs> for season two because he's old, he doesn't want to do it anymore. Um, I really hope that's not the case because that would make narrative sense but not be good in any way. Don't do it. Please don't kill him. Ship called Picard hoping to live up to the the values of Jean-Luc Picard. He Admiral would, Picard. Yeah, he would sacrifice himself to save Data's daughter. Yeah, something like that. Blah, or maybe, blah, blah. I, I, you know, maybe the end of season one is the return of Data. That would be awesome. I'd have no problem with how badly that will be written. <laughs> bring him back. How would you bring him back? Exploded. Very difficult. And I, w- I wonder if they'll ever explain um, Data's other daughter, Lal, or whether that's just conveniently forgotten about. Because there was only one of those. <laughs> and it didn't work, and, it, and the brain went What happened to and Data's brother? Is he the evil he, Data? He, he's dead. Is he? Yeah. Well and truly. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's creator as well. Is it Ninian Sun? Or is that something else? Or is that Khan? That's his creator. Is it? Yeah. Which was just written as a vehicle for him to do a bit of different acting, wasn't it? That's, that's what it was. I don't know if I have said this or not. We've mentioned that too, but... Rick and Morty... Do you watch Rick and Morty? No, it's on my list of definitely should watch. It's what? Doctor Who should be. Right, right. Okay. They go on adventures. The old man is... A, a genius sort of doctor type person he, but it's funny and the adventures are good it's the Doc Brown one isn't it it's the one with um, but yeah, yeah not, confu- s- not to be confused with Paradise Falls Something Falls that's don't a know, different I'm show watch that, yeah. Yeah. but Rick and Morty yeah. is what Doctor Who should be right. in my mind mm-hmm. that's it and on that bombshell <gasps> shall we um, 